Ladies and gentlemen, a preview of today's video. Sit back and relax and grab some friends and family and enjoy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Yomi. My name is Yomi. I make college art and travel related videos. For today's video, I'm going to be traveling around and exploring the island of Pentecost in Vanuatu. Enjoy! So this is what it looks like when you approach it. It has very pretty flowers, I will say. So the flowers are beautiful. So I have my phone flashlight on because it's dark outside. It gets dark in Vanuatu at like 5.45. It's 5.30 and it's, the sun is going down. It's getting dark. And there are no lights on in the building. Like you can't turn the light on until 6 p.m. That's when the generator comes on to turn on the lights. Um, so I'm staying in this guest house. Traveling isn't always as fun as YouTubers make it to seem sometimes. Traveling is really fun and sometimes it's just really a pain and you lose a lot of money and then people are conning you and it's just stressful. So I'm in the room right now. The light isn't working. Even though the generator is on, it comes on at 6, the generator's on, but it needs more fuel so my room doesn't have light. Um, but they provided me with <coughs> this light until they get more fuel. This is the room I'll show you. Oh. There it is. Thank you, Tomas. There we go. So, it's working now. So, these are the two beds. It comes with a bottom bed and a bunk bed. Very limited space to put my stuff. Window. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner are included, like with my, my the price I paid for this. So I'm gonna go eat dinner now. They just made dinner. So this is the dinner. Yam, rice. So this is the food. It looks pretty good. Rice, vegetables, and meat, and then yam. So I just woke up. It's dark outside, it's like 4.45 in the morning. Uh, the Nakuo ceremony is at 10 a.m. and it's two hours away because I want to go see the custom village one. So I've woken up, I'm getting ready, I'm gonna take a shower and yeah, pack my bag, like make sure I have my tripod, my camera's charged and everything, my drying pads to go to the ceremony. Grapefruit. Yes, grapefruit. <laughs> so this this is grapefruit, um, and this is tea, the hot tea. So in Vanuatu they eat, they'll dip the crackers in the in tea and the bread in the tea. And um, my friend Paul showed me that at the house he brought me to. And we're in a whole other island, and they do the same thing. And I'm like, wow, that's so interesting. So this is milk tea. Um, she said this was like coffee. I guess like in Vanuatu, like tea makes it also called coffee or something like that. Normally, I don't like grapefruit, so I was a little worried. But this grapefruit is good, and it's not bitter. Only a little bitter. It's very sweet. It tastes like an orange. But I'm not used to eating yellow grapefruit. I've never had it before. The grapefruit I eat is always orange slash purplish. So this is called kato bread. So I'm gonna get ready for the nagol. I gotta pack my bags and get ready. So, Okay, buy me get ready. Yeah, get ready. Yeah. 
So I'm in the car now. We're going to the airport to see if there will be a truck there that can take me to the land diving because I want to see the traditional land diving, which is two hours from here. There is a land diving ceremony 30 minutes from here, but um, it's not as traditional. The one I want to see is in like a custom village where people live like the traditional lifestyles and wear traditional clothing. So I want to go there because like that's kind of why I came. So hopefully we can find a driver to take me and if we can't then I guess I'll just have to go see the non-traditional one. You'll have to be So I'm at the Lenore airport. Friend blong me. I met him at the airport. We talked about English, so Islamat. Islamat. Okay, just say hello. Hello. <laughs> so we're in the car now. I'm sitting. It's only sitting in the front seat. Everyone else is in the back of the truck. Um, we're gonna go to the custom village and see the Nangol ceremony. You want to tell me hello? Hello, you too. Hello. <laughs> so we're going to the custom village. Hey, hello, chief, chief of the village. <laughs> I'm in the village right now. I'm in the village, and I'm gonna watch the Nagul Nagul ceremony. Uh, I'm name blong village blow you. Ratap Custom Village. Ratap Custom Village. Okay, it's South Pentecost. South Pentecost. Wow. So they're providing the food for us. It's included in the price, I guess. I guess. So they're selling popsicles, so I got one. I don't know what flavor. I'm at the beach right now. I've never been much of a beach person, but the beaches in Vanuatu are just so pretty. Um, my guest house is literally back there. I'm enjoying the beach. So I'm just gonna sit here and draw. I can show you some of the drawings I've been doing recently. I did all of these live. So she just made lunch for me. I'm back at the guest house. I just painted on the beach within my watercolor book with watercolor paints and she made some hot water for me with sugar. A tuna sandwich I believe for me, which I think is tuna. I love tuna, so. So it's pretty good. I've never tasted bread this spongy and thick before, but I like it. Okay. Look at all the cows. They're called Buluk and Bislama. Buluk. They're just grazing, walking along the road. There's a mom and her her baby. So hello. Hello. She works at the guest house. Or you? Um. So Jenny. 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 <laughs> and yeah, so she makes the meals and uh, is amazing host. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wanting me come up. And uh, 
the sea. <laughs> <laughs> so I showed them her and some of the the children around here, uh, the Little Mermaid, and they were watching. So <laughs> you remember the song. <laughs> Wow. I'm asking because I know I learned about pigs in Vanuatu and I know they're really important and I know sometimes they're used as I don't know if it's a bride wealth or dowry so I was asking her um, like I was saying I know how pig tusks can work as money here and I asked if sometimes like you can pay in like to get married so a lot of times like for the man to get married he has to pay 10, 10 pigs to the bride's family um, and she can't say no. And then, um, or 200 to 400,000 Vatu, which is like, I'll do the math later, but it's a lot of money. <laughs> Plenty money. So they're playing Aya Nakamura, French singer. I love her music. to go watch a string band, tra traditional Nivanatu string band. <coughs> so I went and it was really nice. It took them like, they came like an hour late and I came like an hour and a half early. So it took me two and a half hours to see them because there was an emergency where they had to take someone to the hospital because someone was about to give birth. So there I got lap lap for my dinner. So what it looks like. It's chicken lap lap. So on the bottom is taro. Taro. Then there's coconut. The white sips coconut and then chicken is the meat. Because lap lap has meat and then sometimes coconut and then either taro or cassava, manioc on the bottom. And then it's put around leaves that it's put around it. So I just brushed my teeth. I brought this light out to the bathroom, which the guest house provided me with this light because originally the lights weren't working. So I just went to the bathroom. For some reason, it has a Chinese flag on it. I don't know why. Maybe they bought this from, I don't know. But China has a big influence here. And as I probably told you before, China is paving some of the roads here in Vanuatu in the Pentecost Island. So there's a lot of construction going on. And yeah. So I'm about to go to bed. So I'm gonna go to bed. I really enjoyed the land diving ceremony. I'm I'm learning to be more grateful for what I have and I feel like I'm lived a very privileged life. While I'm not rich by any standards, um in the United States and I never had the money to travel to other countries growing up and I went to England one time when I was in the summer before sixth grade and I remembered so many de details about it because I always wanted to travel right but I didn't have the money to travel growing up and never really went on vacation out of the country or to another state growing up unless we were going like for a wedding or a funeral that was like a vacation for me because I was traveling right? I was going to another state but I never went to resorts or lived, went to timeshares. That wasn't something that I had money to do. But even that being said, I've lived a very privileged life in a country where um, we have money in comparison to people in other countries. And I'm just learning that I need to respect the fact that I'm in a country that doesn't have as much money as my country. And I need to not look down and be like, ah, oh, the building's here, or the building I'm staying in, or um, this or that, like, people are doing the best they can, and it's not right for me to, like, not recognize that. Like, I know it's a, it's a shock for me, it's a culture shock, it's a financial shock for me, but I need to be understanding and realize, wow, 
Like, I have so much, and I need to realize that not everyone has what I have, and I need to be grateful and try and help and do what I can to help and hope that one day that people can have what people where I grew up have. I can't, I can't, so it's hard to talk. It hurts. So I woke up, it is 7.25. I'm just sitting inside of the cat's house. I'm like in the lounge type area, just relaxing. Um, I can't get my phone until they, my phone is in another building. Like that's, I have to charge my stuff in another building. Um, that's like a 10 second walk from here. So they unlock it in the morning. It takes some like, I wake up maybe at five or six and they unlock it at nine or eight. Um, so I have to wait for them to wake up and unlock it so that I can get my phone because they charge my phone at night, which is fine because it's good that I'm not on my phone too much anyways when I'm here so I can enjoy the nature and the people and everything like that. So I woke up early this morning at like 4.30. Um, that's a little too early because I'm like, I need to get more adjusted. So I read a little bit of a French book I'm reading called De, De, Des Hommes et Des Sauvages. Um, and then, what did I do after that? Oh, then I was playing Subway Surfers on my Kindle because I was reading on my Kindle, right? And I actually got over a thousand coins. So that was good. And then I went back to bed and woke up at like around 7. So breakfast is set up for me. Um, the roosters are crowing right now. They're being annoying. <laughs> but same bread as yesterday. I can put peanut butter on it. Um, then there's tea packets to put in here. Tea kettle with hot water. And yeah, I'm just going to put peanut butter on the bread. So I put peanut butter and sugar. I never tried this before. I think I'm just going to use one bread slice because I'm not that hungry. So I'm at church right now. Um, Miss Jenny was going to church today, so I asked if I could come with her. So she took me, it's like a, a three minute walk from the guest house, and it's this beautiful pink building. I can show you on the outside. Um, yeah, I've never seen a pink church before. And there are the cows near nearby. So we're walking back from church. It's 12 5 p.m. now. So this is the eating area, and this is the kava area, kava drinking area. So I eat in here every morning and have tea, and eat in here lunch and dinner. So this is the lunch, um, white rice, apparently from Australia, chicken, and sweet potato. It's extremely windy right now. So I just woke up, I've been sleeping for like an hour and a half. So tired. The cars are moving. I'm moving. I don't know why. Um, one cow is moving at least. Gonna see if I can get internet to contact my family. There's not good internet connection right here. The internet connection here is very like bad on the island in general. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. I have to keep on moving around to try and find internet and Usually within the day, I'll use internet for like one, one or two hours, or maybe just one hour, because you never know when it's going to be there. So this is the food. Rice and meat. Really tired. I'm going to eat now. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram at its underscore yomi, I-T-S underscore Y-O-M-I. Thank you. <laughs>